It's a philosophy of leadership. Wonderful. Next. Thank you. We go to next. So we thank you, Nicholas. You really spend a lot of time. You are too quick to get the second PowerPoint through. Please go back one one more second, please. The uh, yeah, the important is uh, really Nicholas uh, spend a lot of time organized. I must say for this. 40 minutes presentation, I have spent about 200 hours to prepare. And Mika has spent 1,000 hours. Thank you, thank you, thank Not you true. for the invitation. <laughs> and so, as I said, it's a 10% information. And then, next again, the 10% information, 90% your imagination, to make the connection and your application, because uh, we are all different. You know, you are philosophy, you, you are leaders, so you already know much about. All right, next, please. So, next. So, the World Asia Organization and through youth ambassadors of this meeting, like uh, New Zealand to Korea, 10,000 kilometers. <clears throat> New Zealand to Hungary, 18,000 kilometers. To Spain, 20,000 kilometers. But here tonight, uh, one world, one family. So that is the important concept for us to realize in the world. Next, please. Next PowerPoint. Okay, so as I said, Alicia is the mother of philosophy. So this is a very unique uh, quotation special for our World Alicia organization. It's the mother of philosophy, not just Alicia. But you think about philosophy is such a topic. All right, go next. So Lisha help us to relax, refresh, renew, and restart. Just as simple as that. So every day in our busy life, every two hours or so, we must find five or 10 minutes to relax, refresh, renew, and restart. That's the most important concept through my life experience. I use that one, two, three, four, ah, together. Thank you. Next. So philosophy from my 30 years of research, I come down to three words. It's a really research the truth. We must learn to search truth. And next. We must cultivate the wisdom. Wisdom is not knowledge. Wisdom is the experience and it's an intelligent wisdom. And then we need to witness the value. So philosophy simply just try to remember truth, wisdom, and value. Next, please. So philosophy is about ask the simple question. What is it all about? So that is a simple way to express the philosophy. Ask the question, what is it all about? And next. So two of the fastest way to connect with another person are to ask questions and to ask for help. So great leader ask great question. Just to share with you a good friend. To ask the question is important. 
I ask myself about 50 to 60 questions every day. And I ask other people, the friend, the relatives, 20 to 30 questions every day. So think about, I'm not saying anymore. I just regularly ask myself 50, 60 questions every day. So the power of question is the basis of all human progress. So really, our parents mostly come from the question, our progress, our advancement. Thank you. Next. So when we ask the question, have a three simple suggestion. So ask the question simply, briefly, clearly, to the point. So very important, ask the question to the point. For example, just to say, where you come from? Where you are now, you are in the USA, Dr. Beck in USA and in UNI and doing the PhD and so on. So just simply, briefly, clearly, so you get the whole thing. Thank you, next. So an effective leader will ask questions instead of giving direct orders. So questioning is important. Questioning is also making the connection making the combination, making the cooperation, and also making the contribution. So together, ask the question. So not just my way, your way, may find a better way. Next, please. So successful leader is asking question and listening to the answers. The answer is very important because from the answer, you are able to ask the follow-up question. Follow-up question is more important than you ask many different questions because then you go in higher and higher and higher level of understanding. So listening to the answer and to ask the question, follow-up question. Thank you. Next. So the very intelligent, multi-intelligent person, Edison, although only went to school for a few months, but uh, his mother taught him, but he opened up his own door in so many ways. As you know, in his 84 years life, 84 years life, he invented 1,093 items, the 10, 1,093, the 10. And discover the electricity, the power, 1,880. So it is important, there is a better way to do it, finally. So try not to repeat the same way all the time. And this sentence has helped me most in my lifetime. I have applied that for 50, 60 years now. There is a better way to do it and find it. So every time, I go to teach the same topic. I change the content. So this is the way really this sentence. To me, Edison's legacy. To me, this sentence is a legacy. And he enjoys so much his work. He say he has never worked for one day. It's all good fun, joy. Thank you, next. So, in our lifetime, there are many problems, but I don't use the problem. I would use that as a challenge. 
but we must find the solution. Find the solution is more important than find an excuse. Because many people, when they got the problem, they would actually find many excuses. So this is important. Just the problem, the solution. Next. Next, thank you. So mm -hmm. wisdom consists of the anticipation of consequences. In fact, today, this 56 PowerPoint, about 30 quotation, they have influenced my life uh, over 60 years. And I have experienced uh, these actually into life application. So wisdom consists of the anticipation of consequences. So we are not just seeing one, two days ahead. We must see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ahead. Because we came to New Zealand from Taiwan. I was, we were looking ahead, anticipation of 50 years later. And I think that is really important, anticipation of consequences. Thank you. I go to next. So leadership. Leadership is important. You are all leaders and youth ambassadors. Remember, the leadership is the way we learn to know where to go and what to do and bring the team together in harmony, happy, and work together with the good result. That is important. All right, next. So Youth Ambassador and congratulation World Asia Organization. Uh, Mikras, uh, really appreciate you as the Youth Ambassador Committee Chair to organize the meeting every Wednesday. It's really taking about half of your lifetime to organize that and mm -hmm. to give the opportunity for our youth leader to not just help themselves, but help others for the future, for the whole of the world. Thank you, we go next. So the leaders are important to have a vision and mission. And then after that, we follow up, the vision and mission are important. So you look ahead for 50 years and you would try to do the, not the job, it's a mission of life. Next, please. Okay, so vision and mission that give the direction and next, inspiration. A leader is important to give the direction and inspiration. Because of that, you would get the cooperation and contribution. This is another way I learn to organize the, actually the world together. They all finish with the ION. So it's very easy to remember. A vision, mission, Direction, inspiration, cooperation, and contribution. It's a rhythm, and that's the way the leader must learn to make it easy for people to remember. All right, go to next. The next one is very important. So 1961, John Kennedy in the Orgo 
address, the speech. To me, this sentence uh, helped my life for many years, 1961. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Now, this is so important. So, youth ambassador, you must remember, ask not what other can do for you, but what you can do for others. And I have tried that really since we came to New Zealand. I did really try this idea and I experienced it's a benefit of all my life, our lifetime is to help, to ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. A simple sentence, but really you have to experience, you have to apply, use it. And next. All right, we we'll go to the part two now. We we'll finish 20 PowerPoint. <laughs> go to the next part. Okay, so the first one. To be a leader, you have to lead yourself first. So it's, it is very important. To be a leader, you have to lead yourself first. Now that's is just something I like the leaders to really remember. All right, next, please. So example is the leadership. So 1952, Swizer received the Nobel Prize Peace. Physician, philosopher, and humanitarian. So I think very important is example is leadership. So he spent many, many years as a medical doctor in Africa, as you know. So example is leadership. It's so simple, but so important. Next, thank you. So leadership is about self-motivation, self-inspiration, and self-discipline. The last one, I just use one example. As a leader, time management, punctuality is very important. So about the time management, <clears throat> I, will, I will mention to say, if you are early, you are on time. You are, if you are on time, you are late. If you are late, well, then something will happen. Okay, so it's important leadership is uh, uh, cell motivation, cell inspiration, cell discipline. Thank you, next. And so, the ability to recognize and respect individual differences is the beginning of successful relationship. So to recognize and respect individual differences is one of the most important thing as a leader, as a teacher. I remember very well in my 55 years of teaching, any class, to anyone I respect, I learn to work together with their individual differences. Just if I'm doing the high jump for the one class, I will set up 12 different heights to suit each individual and they can make the progress from there as an example. All right, next, thank you. So, it's a leader, philosopher, 2,500 years ago, Sun Tzu said, a leader lead by example, not by force. So that is a simple statement. 
but that's what he did through his life. Thank you. Next. So what you do has far greater impact than what you say. Now this is uh, I apply what uh, <clears throat> what Lao Tzu, a Chinese philosopher, two thousand five hundred years ago, Lao Tzu, to say teaching without saying, and I believe a lot of teaching without saying. The student knows. They, you set up the example, they know. So I really believe what Lao Tzu said, teaching without saying. Thank you. Next. So sense of responsibility is the indication of mature leadership. So leadership itself is responsibility. Simply, let's say leadership is responsibility. And so it's clearly state a leader needs to be reliable, responsible. Next, please. <coughs> so we need to practice what we preach and set a good example. It's all very simple words, but that's what it is all about. In our life, we learn from a very simple sentence, but they are really very useful. Next, please. <laughs> so leadership is about simplicity, clarity, brevity, and humanity. These are the four very important words in life, in what we say and what we write and what we do. It's a simplicity, clarity, brevity, and humanity. So it's a very simple way we can remember in our lifetime to exercise in this way. Thank you, next. So Da Vinci, you can see one sentence. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Simplicity is the beauty. Simply explain. Simplicity is ultimate sophistication and simplicity is beauty. Uh, next phrase. And William Shakespeare, brevity is a soul of wit. So in such a short sentence, it says all, oh, brevity is a soul of wisdom. So it's help us to remember how to make everything simply, briefly, clearly with humanity. Thank you, next. So to make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. So you can see what he actually mean. You all know his quotation, E equal MC square, and that's where we say it all. So make it simple and ask question as the important point. Next. So, a similar point, clarity, okay? So it's a clarity, it's a simplicity, brevity, and clarity. They all is very important point and power. Thank you, next. So as a leader, as a teacher, 
we all have many missions, many tasks. So we must learn to achieve the best result in the shortest possible time. It's how we use it. So they can use such a short sentence in three to five words. It says so much in three or uh, five words. So many good people, they can use eight or uh, 10 sentences to say all about one book in 10 sentences, uh, three sentences. So achieve the best result in the shortest possible time. Thank you. Next. So simply say, if you want to be the best, learn from the best. It's a very simple, but I like this sentence because in all my life, I try to learn from the best. And okay, next. So hope you can recognize all these great people in history, not just their name, but what they look like. So for example, like Socrates, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Darwin, Swizer, Mother Teresa, Madame Curie, Mario Diamond, Edison, Aaron Kara, Da Vinci, George Bernard Shaw, and so on. So it is important we not just know their name, because in my life experience, if you know what the person looked like, it's a really help. I also research their signature, their handwriting. So I know even more deeply about the as a person. I have done the signature ana analysis for 60 years, and that's very help to know the people. Thank you, next. So, Lao Tzu actually say, a journey of a thousand miles to begin with a single step. So it is important we have a single step every day and never stop. That is important, not just occasionally. Learning is continually every day. And I just hear that part of my life experience every day I will spend six to eight years um, of study. And that's my single step for 50 years, 60 years, and to the last day of life. All right, next one. Thank you. So, Socrates say, I cannot teach anybody anything, but I can only make them think. And this is part of the reason for my presentation today. I'm only giving about 10% information, 90% imagination. So I make you think. All right, next, please. So Confucius, they're also the philosopher, say, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. So it's not just talking. Teaching is about showing the practice what you preach, you show the example, and you let them actually try, let them experience, inspire them to be successful. That's as important. They experience a success of their learning is a very important in life. Next. <clears throat> oh, we go to the final one. We have another 16 PowerPoint. So this is also influenced me 
so much. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. So that helped me so much because I'm not the strongest. I'm not the most intelligent, but I, I discovered this gave me the good opportunity. So in all my life, I learned to respond to change, make the change to improve continually. So responsive to change, is a, it's a very important point. All right, next. So, it say, George Manar got the Nobel Prize in literature and say progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their mind cannot change anything. I think it said all there. So we have to continue to make the change. Thank you, we'll go to next. And I like Edison, Einstein, Einstein. Everyone is a genius. So I use that idea into my teaching. I treat every student as a genius in their own way. So we must try to discover their talent and develop, improve, and let them experience a success. So this is very important. He got the Nobel Prize in 1925. Thank you. We'll go next. So the purpose of human life is to serve and show compassion and will to help others. I think this is the major really reason uh, for him, for Swider, to get the Nobel Prize in peace. And this is something all the leaders need to learn and teacher need to learn as well. Thank you. We'll go to the next. And interesting, you see, Madame Curie received two Nobel Prize. It's in hundred years of history. She is the only one woman. She the only woman to receive no two Nobel Prizes. So nothing is impossible. So it's nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. So although that's a very simple sentence so help us to understand how we manage our life every day to overcome the challenge, the problem, not just to be scared, to be fear, but to understand the reality and Really, it's a 1903 in physics, 1911 in chemistry. The only women receive two Nobel Prizes. Next. So, Helen Kara, the best, the most beautiful thing in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with a heart. Now, this is a very special, very, very special person, as you know. She cannot see, she cannot hear. But she was the first woman to receive the Bachelor of Art from the Red Cliff College. So you think about nothing is impossible. And she also said, I thank the God for my handicaps. Through them, I have found myself, my work, 
and my God. And not only that, she said, alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. So this is the one most useful example in my life to learn from her. If she cannot see, cannot hear, and become, would we see the Bachelor of Art from a very famous college, and also to become a writer and a speaker. Next, thank you. So, peace begin with a smile. Well, you try that and try that. A peace begin with a smile. And she is a humanitarian, a war Nobel Prize in peace, 1979. And the main real reason she said, if you can't feed 100 people, just feed one. And I think that is all her life help the poor and sickness. Thank you, next. So your brain can keep learning from birth to the end of life. In fact, this is true and true and true. We must remember that, not because we are getting old, we cannot learn. We can continue to learn. Give you three simple examples. Until 2007, the eldest person to receive the Nobel Prize in economics, 90 years old. Then 2017, the eldest one to receive the Nobel Prize in chemistry is 96 years old. 2018, the eldest, eldest person to receive the Nobel Prize is 97. So I guess in five years time, the eldest Nobel Prize winner would be 100. So I got 13 years to go. I have to try very hard to see I can get one. Okay, next. So remember, it's a really, really important concept of life, and we got the uh, we got the evidence to support. So you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. In fact, this is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Next. So Kennedy said, "Effort." and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. So in life, it is important not just try hard, but must have a purpose, a direction, determination, dedication to destination. So direction would bring you to the destination. Next. So life is the journey, make the most of it. And tonight, you're wonderful leaders and you are making the best of your life. I'm delighted for you and to share with some simple ideas for you to think, to apply and to make the connection. Next, please. So, remember Walt Disney. He started with one dream and one mouse. So he said, if you can dream it, you can do it. So I certainly believe this is true. This is not theory about what is talking, the life experience. Okay, the life, the one dream and one mouth. 
next. And so leaders, the following few words are important to remember as a reference. Adaptability and honesty, humanity, positivity, and reliability, responsibility. So all the words are finished with T-Y, easy to remember as a group. Adaptability, honesty, humanity, positivity, reliability, responsibility. All right, next. We are nearly to the end in two minutes. So summary, simply to summarize, these are the simple idea I have applied into my life. And so it's invisible, it's visible. Impossible, it's possible. So unpredictable, it's predictable. And incomprehensible. One more. Incomprehensible, it's comprehensible. I hope these four sentences for you to think about. You are use your imagination to say invisible is visible, impossible is possible, unpredictable is predictable, incomprehensible is comprehensible. And so we go to next. We are nearly finished. So World Asia Organization. We wish you all the best because you are great effort from all the important board members and the staff uh, organizing the World Asia Organization so well, uh, bring the world together and to cultivate the wonderful young leaders. We go next. One more, okay. And so that's a beautiful, we bring the whole world together. Well, thank you very much for your kind attention. I'm delighted to share, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for giving a uh, uh, thank you for giving us a great uh, uh, speech about the leadership and then the philosophy, and then you mentioned about that the question is uh, most important to think, to know the by ourselves, right? The question, mm -hmm. and then yes, and then and then. Uh, you mentioned about the leader, uh, leader is uh, to be on examples, right? Right. Yes. Yes. And then, I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I think the example is the most important things. So to someone who want to be a leader, and then yes, mm -hmm. and then example. Yes. yes. Practice what you preach. Set a good <laughs> example. Yes, and then I have a, a question. So, so you mentioned about that to be a reader, we have to read by yourself. Yeah, and then I remember that this the sentence. Uh, so. mm -hmm. But the, nowadays, the many students I met the many students who. Uh, has uh, some uh, negative things when they think about uh, themselves. So what is the, your advice to like that student who uh, has a uh, negative thinking? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally people do have, generally speaking, very easy negative thinking. So, Yeah, so it is important 
I have a two or three very short example in my life. It's to turn mm -hmm. negative into positive. Mm -hmm. This is a very simple way of doing. Turn the negative into positive. So you learn if something very bad happened to me, you say, well, because of that, I learned something. So Gandhi say, Gandhi and the important people say, I never lose. I either win or I learn something. So it's a negative thing, so it's important. We learn something important. So turn negative into positive. Turn disadvantages to advantage. That's what I really, we have done as a family, we come from Taiwan to New Zealand. We, we overcome and we use that idea of turn negative into positive, turn disadvantage to advantage, turn difficulty into opportunity. Would that make sense? Yes, yes. No. Okay, so mm -hmm. try to do that. Every time you have something bad to you, you think about, well, I learned something from this. And I think because of that, uh, I change my way of thinking. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. the other can make a comment. Uh, is there any question? Yes, Nicholas. Uh, congratulations again. So <laughs> I could hear this presentation many times and I wish, and I would like to tell you that uh, you can see this um, presentation again on the World Leisure website. We will upload it. So come and visit us. Yes. Uh, but I have a question, you know, because uh, sometimes um, I miss some of skills and knowledges in my life. I am teaching already for, 30, uh, for 37 years mm. at the universities, and I think I am a leader. Yes. But what is it if my students don't accept my leadership? <laughs> Well, I don't believe it. <laughs> I think you are such a good leader. Uh, so well, how can you, you how that? can you get them motivated? Okay. So I oh. make my failures and I warn them. Okay, <laughs> don't do the same okay. like I had <laughs> done it before. Okay. You are a wonderful teacher, but I just share with you one example. If I'm teaching something, when I was uh, the beginning of my teaching, I was teaching uh, practical skill in athletic and gymnastics. And during that time, in the beginning of the class, I let the student to do what they can do. And that is important. You, you let them do what they can do for a few minutes. And then you actually start to actually modify from there. So uh, in, in your case, it's actually for the leadership is you actually get to know individual differences. I think that's quite important. I did try to get to know my student mainly through their handwriting signature. So they would tell me what kind of people they are and uh, I would try to fit in to their individual differences, their style of life. So you try, Nicholas, try to find a way to get to know them individually, uh, a little bit of individual difference, if you can, because that, to me, is important. So 
they know, your student know, you recognize them individually. So that's why when I started to teach, I started to learn everyone's handwriting. And I do that even now today, I'm still learning. If I see two or three friends, I will say, please sign your name, please sign your name and also write one, two, three, four, five. And, and then write the school, your name of the school. So because of find the way, I cannot tell you exactly what to do, find your way to get to know them individually a little bit. But for me, I use their signature. And also I let them to do what they can do for a few minutes before every class. I let them do it a few minutes. And so, would that make sense? Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other comment or question? Okay. Dr. Lee, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Uh, because you are silent. <laughs> well, what's going on? <laughs> silent means listening. Yeah, actually, okay. Since you uh, you get to me, frankly speaking, I have been collecting all these quotations for years, and i uh, I really believe in it. In fact, if you can see, I'm wearing this T-shirt about one of his quotes on sophistication today. So, uh, but one thing I learned about leadership to put it simply is not about giving orders as what he, one of his slides say, but it's about influencing. Hmm? The word is influencing, you see, to influence others. I will put it in, uh, this is one philosophy I found about leadership. Oh. Yeah, just the key words. Give me a key words of your question. Yeah, my question, my question is uh, whether to tell people, actually I'm not giving a question, I'm giving a remark that, uh, that it's not about directing people, but it's about influencing people. So it's about getting people to, uh, to go along with your thoughts and your way and your beliefs without any coercion, without any force. That's my comment about leadership. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. okay. I'm just Michael. Adding, yeah. Mike. Yes. Michael from Nigeria, and the other one is Mark Ba Beola. Mm -hmm. Can you introduce yourself also? Well, Michael, giving the smile. So the peace starts with smile. I learned today and I will practice it. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but the Nigerian connection is sometimes uh, <laughs> broke down. Nigeria. Uh, can you write in the chat, please, your remarks? We cannot hear you. Oh. No, no, not you, not you. Nigeria. We cannot hear you, Michael. <laughs> okay, so there is another Michael, Magba Beola. Can you introduce yourself, please? If you can hear us. It's the Michael <laughs> I think the internet in Africa, depending on where they are, it's not good. Oh. 
Okay. And there is Matthias. Matthias, can you introduce yourself? Yeah. It's going great. Anna. Can you see me? Ah, here is Matthias Oppe. Yes. Good morning, all. Okay. Hello. Can you, can you hear me? Good morning, all. Good morning. I can hear you. Do you have any comment, Matthias? Actually, thanks very much for that wonderful uh, uh, teaching. I learned a lot. My comment is, you know, in terms of leadership, uh, when you have people to lead, one of the ch challenges you face in leadership is trying to get other people to buy to your ideas, like using the M model. You know, M, when you're using the M model, where you are, where I am, I'm seeing the blue, and where you are, you are seeing M. The other person the seeing M is seeing E, and the other one the person M is seeing three. Getting an idea, a concept whereby you can bring people close to you is actually a problem because we are living in a society whereby the greatest thing to do is to educate people, convince people to buy your ideas, hoping when they are coming from, from different geographical areas, like people over there, your philosophy also affects you, your ideology, because you are a victim of different programming, cultural programming, environmental programming, and societal programming. So from what you just said, like you said, uh, one of the culture I saw, Mother Teresa said, smiles bring peace, you know? <laughs> I think that uh, uh, sometimes uh, for you to influence people, to be an influencer, because leadership is about the influence, is by adapting some statistic devices that will make people to buy to your idea. That means you must be friendly to them, because you cannot be French where you don't have friendship. And, and then the world will not smile with you if you not smile at other people. So I think um, uh, from what you taught us so far, from what I, from the, what I, uh, the, I came late, actually, I'm sorry for that. Sorry about that, because the network in Nigeria, you know, is very bad. I think um, I don't have anything to say, but all I want to say is that I learned a lot because uh, though younger innocent, I came to this program. I think I'm mature and fit. I'm living, and I hope to learn more from you people. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matthias. You. Good welcome. comment. <laughs> so, Thank Matthias, you. what's your job at home? Matthias, what's your job? Okay. Actually, my job at home, I'm an entrepreneur. And you know, I come to Nigeria. I graduated. I, am, I just finished my master's degree. I'm a biochemist. And um, I'm an entrepreneur. I come to Nigeria. In this now, we don't depend on government because sometimes government don't, 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 don't care about us because of our, the nature of our society. So I'm an entrepreneur trying to survive. So that's what I am now. So I'm self-employed. I don't work for government. And uh, now what I'm doing for now is to struggle to survive. I'm a bachelor, seeing, trying to see, hope for the future, hope for better things. So now what I am, now what I'm doing now. Thank you, Matthias. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Anna, you. as a young person, uh, before finishing your high school, so how did you like the presentation. I really like it. And I agree all of the statements the doctor has said. Like, I really think that when you are working in a group, it can be working in a school project, like with your classmates or with people from any kind of walks of life. And it is really important to ask questions and to take into consideration the other's opinions. And and I also believe that if you are certain about what you think and you really believe in what you are doing, then the others will also accept your ideas and will follow you. So I really think that these things are important when you are working with other people and in a group. And I also think that if you can adopt the changes, you will be successful. And without it, it's hard to achieve your goal. So adopt it. So adapting to change is also really important. So I definitely agree with all of these ideas and statements. Wow, Thank such you. a young person's opinion. Okay, so did you get inspired, Anna? 
Yes, I think. And I really learned that I should question things more, maybe. So I really rarely ask questions about why I am doing things and why things are just going their way. So maybe it could help me in the future. So it was very helpful. Maya? Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think it was 90% of imagination and also inspiration for us. I think uh, it's a, a, a really hard thing to practice every day, to listen and to ask questions and everything, but I think yeah. it's worth it. And as Anna said, uh, it's not just for uh, your job, it's for every every aspect in our life to, to apply this leadership um, and th this wisdom, I think, is not just for yeah. being yeah. with with, with your work colleagues, but also for being with your friends, with your family, with nature, and etc. So, if we had any doubts, now it's solved with uh, after hearing you. So, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, kind for your kind comments. Thank okay. you very much.